It may seem bizarre to writers that some Hawaiians feel a kinship relationship with Pele, an amakur relationship, a feeling that she exists as, as one of their ancestors. But as I explained, the worldview is such that you relate it to everything. And so she is, as well as the other gods, uh, a part of the genealogies of man. You will find in certain families that feel a kinship toward Pele, you will find that they, they look to one, of the, one member of their family or possibly two members of their families, uh, as the person who seems to be in touch. They can't explain to you why, but they say it's, it's that person. That person has, uh, has the power. Among the many chanters of the Pele epic, perhaps the most widely respected are the Kanaka'ole sisters, Pua and Nalani who direct the Hilo-based Halau o Kekuhi. Daughters of the late legendary Auntie Edith Kanaka'ole, Pua and Nalani belong to a lineage of chanters reaching back, some say, to the clan of Pele herself. I can't describe relationship, but most of our family names come from that clan. If I need to put a term to it, fire clans. For me, Pele is important today because it, it gives us a touch of the old, and yet, and yet she is present because it continuously erupts. And so it keeps us in touch with who we are, keeps us in touch with the land, keeps us, keeps us in touch with our ancestors. <laughs>